For anybody who doesn't know what your coming home series is, can you explain it to them? Yeah. Um, again, trying to make a long story short. Um, in 2012, mm-hmm. I, I traveled to Cuba. And what it was is that being Cuban American, it, it, if anybody knows the Cuban community, especially the people that came revolution, you know, escaped all of that Castro regime and communism, it's kind of taboo, especially at that time, to go to Cuba. They think that if you go, it's, it's like you're giving back to the regime. So you kind of raise not to even think about going to the island. Um, but as I got older, I was like, man, I want to see my, my family's homeland. I want to see my parents' homeland. I want to see my roots. And I kind of wanted to see it still in a bubble before Taco Bell and McDonald's might have popped up, you know, in Havana. So I made a concerted effort to, to, to plan a trip to Cuba. And my other homie, Garcia, who was an artist under my label, and he was studying film, he came along and a couple of my boys came. And when I was playing the trip, I came across another homie that was dealing with the hip hop community in Cuba. And I said, yo, connect me, man. That's what I want to do. I want to connect with the hip hop community over there and, and just see how they're doing hip hop in Cuba. And so we went and we filmed the whole trip and it was, we were amateur filmmakers. It was, I, ha- I had no real intentions of becoming a filmmaker per se. I just wanted to do it for myself, maybe for my family, show it to my kids one day, show it to you know, other Cubans and, or Latinos or whatever. It was just something doing it for myself. Come back, put together this film. We kind of did some screenings and immediately it got rave reviews from people. Uh, people from all backgrounds were saying, we love it. We love the story. We, we, we love the idea of you going and following your roots. We love to, to see how hip hop has manifested itself in other places. We would love to see us in other countries. And I'm like, I was a big fan of Anthony Bourdain and what he was doing. Yeah. And, and a lot of people use his name when they're talking about these types of series. But I feel that, that I have more like, like people just do travel series and they say Anthony Bourdain. He, Anthony Bourdain did more than a travel series. Much more. You know what I'm saying? He used what he knew, which was food, as the conduit to conversations to find out like the social ills, the political situation you know, dive deep into that country's culture and, and everything going on in that country using food, which was their common language to, to, to get them to that conversation. I wanted to do the same thing using hip hop. I already knew hip hop, you know, is a global phenomenon. I knew it was out, everybody in the world is, is doing hip hop. And I wanted to connect with, you know, all these people around the world doing what we do. And, and, and I knew that it was going to be a common language that would connect us immediately. And it would basically give, give me the hood pass to almost anywhere. That's right. And that's what we started to do from, we did coming home Cuba. After that, we did Peru. I set out to do six. And right now I'm in post-production with my six one. Uh, coming I, home I've personally Africa. seen, I've, I, I've seen Cuba. Amazing. I've seen Thank Peru. You. Haiti. Uh, we did Haiti. Haiti. You even did Vietnam because Vietnam. I, you did Vietnam. And, and did you do Vietnam because was My that pops. a connection to your dad? Yeah, I went to the battlefield where he fought deep in the mountains, a place called Quezon where the Marines were based. And I went there. It was like four hour drive into the mountains. Um, yeah, and it was, it was amazing, man. Amazing. And we're meeting all the top artists in every country yep. that have, you know, their millions of followers and whatever different social medias that they use. And, and, and it's just an amazing journey. And it, it re-inspires me and it reminds me why i got like what what excites me about hip-hop you know because you it's easy to get jaded in the industry side of of the culture but you get you you see it from the the grassroots side and these people doing it for the love and and with really it's not about money and and it's just it just reinvigorates me to want you know like i come back like hype like Mm -hmm. like, you know like i'm a kid again and there's a connection too also with like coming home cuba and drink champs in the sense that Coming Home Cuba was one of the first um, licenses, original licenses that Revolt TV did when they launched the network. Shout out to Ramon Dukes. Oh, shout out to my man, Ramon. I didn't, know, I didn't realize he was your um, way into Revolt. I know that the series aired on Revolt. I didn't realize yeah. it came through Ramon. Shout out to Ramon Dukes. Yeah, shout out to Ramon and Sway because through Mixtape Mondays on MTV, that's how I'm connected to Ramon. Oh, wow. So, shout out to Sway as well. Yeah, shout out to Sway. So, so Ramon, he, he tells me about this new network that Puff's launching. Um, I think this is maybe late 2012. And he's like, he's like, this is exactly the type of stuff that they want to put, put on the network. And I'm like, all right, awesome. And 
connected. I got a licensing deal. Mind you, this is the first film I've ever done in my life. Like, I don't even consider myself a filmmaker yet. And then I just take that, that licensing money and just dump it into the next film. And the next licensing, dump it into the next film. Or that, and that's what I've been doing with these films. I'm just reinvesting into the next film. And eventually, you know, the goal is to, for it to be a, a bigger series um, to live, you know, somewhere else. But, but yeah, that's what we've been doing, man. It's been such a great, great series to do and, and just a big passion project of mine. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.